Hey guys, welcome back. All right, last time you were here, we were taking a look at the Killer Instinct arcade cabinet pickup. Now this thing was in rough shape. It's 26 years old, guys. You realize that Killer Instinct, this cabinet is 26 years old. So there's a lot of dirt and grime and believe me, it was pretty damn gross cleaning this thing up. Wow, look at that, nasty. Anyways, let me get back to work. But anyhow, I wanted to show you guys, I have a bunch of parts on order. So I thought it'd be fun to go through a list of things that kind of I picked up so far and I've got a bunch more to do. And then while we're talking through this, I'll actually give you an idea of what else I've ordered. So the first thing I ordered was a marquee from Joe Sabo. Now you guys know Joe Sabo does some amazing work, but here's the Killer Instinct marquee. Let's get rid of this thing. It's in the plastic. Ooh, it's upside down. There we go. It's in the plastic, but man, it looks good. Let's, uh, let's take it out of the plastic really quick. Let me see if I can get it out of here. I'm gonna get my meat hooks all over it. Get your meat hooks off. But definitely go check out Joe Sabo for any arcade restoration or arcade one-up project. But look at how freaking sweet that is. <laughs> like seriously, this is awesome. I'm super excited about this. Sorry, getting a little bit of the light there, but he does amazing work. This thing looks killer. All right, we'll put that aside because we got some other goodies here. In this bag, we've got something from Tornado Terry's. So if you've never checked out Tornado Terry's, definitely give him a look. These are HAP competition sticks, so these are the ones that match the Killer Instinct cabinet. So if you remember, they had uh, blue bat tops. So there's the blue bat tops that were originally on the arcade. So we'll put that aside real quick. And then I decided to go with HAP competition sticks. I like the HAP competition sticks. There are people that kind of claim the IL Euro sticks are better. I think the HAP ones are great. The IL Euro sticks probably are a bit more durable, to be honest, but I don't really think it matters that much for what I'll be doing. So there's some other stuff from Tornado Terry's. You got another hap stick, obviously, because it's two players. We'll take that out of the way. We should have some buttons in here as well. All right. So we got the whole button kit, all the blue goodies, all the blue goodiness buttons that you'd want. And then um, the micro switches are in here. These are cherry micro switches. So these are my favorite micro switches. Definitely worth giving these a look. If you've never used these before, these are amazing. So I'm really set from a controls perspective, but there's one more thing. There's one more thing. This was the hardest thing to find. So we're gonna take this and move it out of the way and we'll get to the last item. All right, bam. The last item is actually a Killer Instinct PCB. This was super hard to find, uh, but I was talking to Joe Sabo and he's like, hey, I have a buddy that's selling one. And I was like, no way. So he had one, he's replaced the hard drive. So this used a spinning drive. He replaced the hard drive with a, um, I can't remember what you call these. They're not micro SD cards, they're uh, compact flash. So we replaced it with a compact flash card. So this thing will be super reliable, but it looks brand new. I don't know what he pulled this from, but this board looks like it's in immaculate condition and shape. I did nothing to it. I pulled it out of the box just like this. So I'm super excited about that. Now there is something that uh, that is interesting about these boards. So this is obviously a JAMA board. So here's your JAMA edge connector but these used a kick harness. So it wasn't standard jam on the sense that, you know, some, some of these newer systems are using uh, six buttons off the standard jam harness. That didn't do that. It used three action buttons for each player. So six buttons off the jam harness. And then you had a JAMA, uh, sort of a JAMA kick harness that you'd have to connect. I actually got that too. So I'll show you that really quick. So here is the kick harness. You will need to order one of these if you are building a Killer Instinct from scratch and you don't actually have this. So the kick harness plugs in. And then there's an end here, if I can find it. Uh, actually, this end right here, you'll see there's six wires. So it's three of the additional buttons for each player. And then there's a ground wire. There's obviously a lot of work that I have left to do. Now, I was going to do a full restoration of the side art. But as I'm looking at the side art, it's not actually that bad. So I'm going to keep that for now, I think. I'm not sure, but I'm definitely going to do a full restoration of the control panel. So I'm going to do a new plexi overlay. I'm going to do new artwork on the top. I'm gonna do new artwork on the front, and then I'm also gonna do new artwork on the sides where it says Nintendo, and then I also have to do T-molding all around. The T-molding's just really beat up and it's not in good shape. And then in the front panel, they put those locks on the coin door, and those locks on the coin door could have been because they lost the keys and they needed to lock it and they just didn't put a normal lock on, or it could have been just because they didn't want people breaking into the cabinet. There's a bunch of different reasons, but I'm gonna have to Bondo uh, those holes and then repaint the front. So there's definitely a lot of work to be done here, but I'm super excited for this project and I'm gonna actually document it every step of the way. So this was just step one, basic cleanup. I'm ordering some of the parts, more of the parts are gonna come in every day now and uh, 
we're going to move on to phase two, which is disassembling the control panel. We're going to take that thing off. We're going to clean it all up, sand it all down, fill up any holes that are there, and then get this thing running. So I wanted to share this with you. I'm super excited to take you on this journey. And uh, yeah, that's it for right now. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel. Turn on notifications so you can be informed of other videos like this one. And that's it for now, guys. We will see you on the next one. <laughs>